Welcome back everyone. Tom here with another video presentation. I am back out in Utah's West Desert once again. These are the peaks known as Indian Peaks. They are the northernmost uh, features of the Simpson Mountain Range. And this is in the area of the Onaquai Horse Range, Wild Horse Range. In fact, in the valley at the bottom of those mountains is where you can find the wild horses. And of course you can tell I'm obsessed with them. <laughs> I love going out there. So laying in some water for some wet into wet to begin the painting. Just a grayish blue mixed up and laying it in there. So here's a little clip just showing 16 seconds of the horses out there in the middle of this beautiful landscape that I love to paint. Okay, now my initial colors that I lay down are sure going to dissipate quickly and dry very light. I'm working a little differently here. I'm working on a pad of paper that I haven't taken the paper off. I've just started painting right into uh, the piece. I was just kind of in a hurry doing this. Again, I ran into a situation with, where the weather was a little adverse, and so I had to do the sketch there on site and then come back in the studio and do my work and just carving in those initial colors and using a damp brush to control where the paint spreads to. So just uh, keep in mind my little rule of thumb that I like to follow to the degree that I can and that is light to dark, top to bottom, back to front and general to specific. And that's my basic approach especially to good old-fashioned traditional transparent watercolor painting of the landscape which is of course one of my favorite ways to work. So the paper is Blick hot press paper. Kind of a new love of mine. I'm really enjoying that Blick hot press. And I suspect that it's because it doesn't have quite as much external sizing as you might find on other papers. I guess I'm thinking specifically of arches. As a result, the paper or the, the watercolor tends to just settle into the paper a little more quickly and I actually find that I like that. My choice of brushes this round are just, I don't know, just what I happened to decide I wanted to work with. It's um, it's a matter of knowing your tools and how best to use them and gaining the skill to use them. And then you can just start playing with ideas of how to approach your painting. Sometimes I like how a flat ferruled brush can impart a mark into a painting that just I like how I like how that feels. There's a lot of careful edge control here as I'm working wet into wet. In that one spot it was starting to dry so I had to touch it up with just a little bit of water on the brush. Now I'm kind of drying more completely that edge of the earth and sky interface there and now I'm on to painting the mountain itself. Now proportionally speaking these uh, this plein air study beginning plein air study and then finishing up in the studio it's not as accurate as what the photo shows but as I like to do larger or more finished paintings, the drawing accuracy will come into play then. And also again, until I've pretty well covered the paper, all of this is just the block-in stage. 
just laying in the foundational colors that I will build on. The sky does have a couple of uh, spatters from just a little bit of water on my brush. I just kind of liked to throw it in there and see what it would do. So now I'm pretty well past the uh, block-in stage and now I'm starting to build textures and colors and uh, tones on top of what I initially laid down in order to bring the image to completion. So that's the process throughout the rest of the piece. I hope you enjoy it. I'm about to turn you over to the music so I'll just see you on the other side. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. So, I'm just working from general to specific and as I build certain colors, certain tones, it helps be, me to know how much further I need to go with other colors. For example, that brownish gray that I'm laying in right now, I kind of needed to get other textures and values in there first before I knew where to go from there so for me it's kind of a process of learning how to paint or more specifically learning how to paint that particular piece the textures of the trees on the distant mountains is rather easy to capture very quickly but those tonal relationships of those greens and those browns and those yellows in the foreground that's a little tricky and I'm trying to just kind of pick through that. But also even that blue that I'm now glazing over the top of the mountain 
feels like it needed to be there. And, and again, I wouldn't have known that until I got all the other colors in there to see what the relative relationship of the values would be. So it's a constant process of looking not only at the big picture, but at some of the details you feel you can capture in order to bring the piece to completion. And that's about it. Just a matter of wrapping it up and bring it to some closure. So I appreciate your watching. Take care. Have yourselves a great day. And happy painting to you.